Hello everyone and welcome. Today I want to show you guys a way in order to win a siege defend battle very easy. Orders, my lord. The only thing is that the enemy you have to have walls, and it is best if the enemy doesn't have any artillery. And if he has them, you will have to get tight to get rid of them as fast as possible. So we have fire arrows and stuff like that. And it's best to do it. So I'm deploying my archers here on the walls and I'm sending my infantry here on the campaign map the AI in which this works mostly doesn't have any siege units so that's a good point so if it's lagging a bit but that's just my computer just see you see that I have my arches here they're coming in now uh, I'm playing this the Rome, this the Rome uh, city. I don't see the Colosseum, but that doesn't really matter. And this is very useful to have a few infantry, but there it is also possible with archers, I guess. It is important that you have walls. Without walls, it doesn't work. So it only works in the some cities. Yeah, I'm making some casualties with my archers. Choose the whistling shots. We'll see in a minute how it works. Is now going to they are going to try to destroy gates. In the meanwhile, these towers are shooting them constantly, so they don't have ammunition. So if you can just keep them busy, uh, they will die eventually. So look, I'm sending my letting my units walk here through the gates. They won't do anything, and because they are walking, the gates are open. They can't uh, destroy the gate, so look, the gates got no damage. In the meanwhile, I just can keep walking here and they have no casualties. And the arches and the towers just keep hitting them. It isn't really fair play, but I think it's if it is necessary, you can win. So, if you really have to, or if you really want to win. Is this a st strategy you can use? It's also possible if you want to just attack them now or when they under the gates because I have oil here and the towers and oil will do its job. But this will make no casualties on my side, so it's just a bonus. It's taking a bit long, but that's because these are very tough units. But if they will die too, and in the meanwhile the time would just run out. As you can see here, my archers are doing the job. I think that is if you think that this is too boring, One of our units you can also just ammunition. attack them now. And that will keep them busy too. This, this way we don't have casualties. Also, mostly they're sending in more troops. The men are wavering. And if you are um, if you're fighting them, you can also go around the back of a lot of units because they will just stand still. It's just time that I'm uh, gaining here. They are dying. The first unit there. 
is a dying here too. So as you can see, it is just the towers and my archers who are only killing them. And it's working. One of our units has used all its ammunition. For example, I can put my units here. Put another group here. I can just walk here along their backs. I think that this, this is something that they have to work on with the AI because I mean this is just really bad that you can just walk around them. Now they're sending in reinforcements and then meanwhile they are almost all dead here. So this is just a way to when I siege defense, you have just to get some time and make sure they can't destroy the gates and the towers will finish the job. And here you have the oil. sending in the next units but the towers still have ammunition forever. One of our units has used all its ammunition. And I don't know if I already said it but the AI mostly doesn't have siege units on the camping map. So this unit was so this tactic will still work then. As you can see the gate is being close to getting destroyed but Excuse my tactic again. And like I said, you can also use archers, so um, you can just walk around here with your archers or get your archers in their back to distract them. To distract them. If you don't like, uh, if you don't like this tactic, then just don't use it but I think it's if you are in need of a good win then you can always use this to attack with my archers just to stall some time. This is only a custom battle so the casualties on my side don't really matter to me, only that I win. And you use this mo this tactic most times with your um, guards from the city and if they die just they will just be regenerated again. They will just heal. So the casualties most times don't matter. Just because of the tower and some archer. 
entrance. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. I am losing this at the moment, but it doesn't matter, I still got three units here. So I sent these three back. The men are wavering. I guess they are not going back. Maybe they are going back now, yes. And you, it is best if you just leave one or two units behind. Men, just so that the rest of the units can be safely can safely get away. That didn't work this time. Also, which I think is bad of the AI is I'm defending, and when my units are rousing, they are going right into the enemy they want to go here. But this logically a bit much better, and also in real uh, time that they would walk back into the castle, castle to the fortress. This is just so... Okay, that was uh, a demonstration I guess or something like that. The organization, I don't <laughs> know what I just did. of them here. They are just dying just like the rest of them. groups of them left. That was not doing, doing that job. Meanwhile, I only keep this gate open. That's all I'm doing at the moment.
using this tactic, don't be surprised in the end when you see how much you have killed, that you have killed almost no one because the kills the tower made don't count on your kills that you made they don't show the kills that the tower made only what your units made So this is the worst position where they could have gone with the attack and they could have attacked because I can use all my archers here so I have much more archers to use and if would for example for example attack here I only have archers here and so yeah I can use a lot more archers archers I think they have a lot of things to do in the creative assembly with the AI because for example why are the units, these units standing here? Why not here? Or I mean here where they are safe from the tower. Look at all stuff like that and it is also very bad that I can just walk around them and tag them in the back. What also is a problem is uh, the uh, FPS when I go to the smoke, smoke uh, to the gate, it just becomes really laggy as you can see now. So let's just do a last charge here. Thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time.